with Susan from the Noonan Carnegie Library and I'm here with another book review for you. Today we're going to be talking about No One is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This is a new thriller and it was so good. This one was one that I didn't want to put down at all. It was so hard to put down. I read it in like a whole day because it just was so suspenseful. This book is about Sydney Green. She lives in Brooklyn, New York in a house that she was born and raised in in a neighborhood that she really loves. But she sees that the neighborhood is changing and different people are moving in, people are moving out. And she's really sad in seeing how the makeup of her neighborhood is changing. It's becoming very gentrified and she's starting to not know who her neighbors are because people are selling out very quickly. So she meets this new couple that moves across the street, Kim and Theo, and she does not hit it off with them at all. She immediately has problems with them both and she's feeling very agitated about it. She also has neighbors next door who are not treating her right and they have a dog that barks all the time and she's just really sad with what her neighborhood has become. She's also worried about her mother who's seriously ill who owns the house that she lives in and um, her best friend also lives in the house with her but they seem to be fighting a lot lately so her life is just kind of a mess right now. She starts getting overdue notices in the mail for bills and she starts having people come and try to buy the brownstone from her and she just feels so like super stressed out. So she decides for the annual block party, she wants to put together a tour of historic Brooklyn and talk more about the roots and the neighborhoods and the kind of people who lived in the neighborhoods and what they did and the things they accomplished and just to talk a little bit about the history. So she starts researching it. Now her neighbor across the street, Theo, has lost his job and so he decides he's gonna help her research. Well, she's not real happy about it at first because she's like, what can you do to help me? And she doesn't really like him, but they start getting to know each other a little more. And as he starts to slowly reveal his past, she starts to see a different side to him. So as Sydney and Theo dive deeper into the history of this neighborhood, they start to see startling similarities to other times in history, the same things that are happening now. And as they continue their research, they start seeing weird things are going on. So they wonder, are we just paranoid or are these things really happening? And that's when it takes this dizzying turn and this book becomes a true thriller. I don't want to say any more because we will get into spoilers, but this book was so suspenseful. The end of it was like a ride, let me tell you. I think the words I described when I finished were like, this book is wild, it is so good, and it goes in directions that you wouldn't even expect. So I really love this book. This is what's the first Alyssa Cole book I read. She writes a lot of romance and Regency books, and I'd heard for a long time her books were really good, but this was the first one I was able to read, and it was really good. And so this makes me want to go back and read some of her other books, but I highly recommend this book. We'll have it here on the special shelf for you, the Carnegie. So come in, check it out, read it. Let us know what you think about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Thanks so much and join us again soon for more book reviews.